Ranjini. The title of my paper is Towards Localizing Public Health Information Systems, Adopting Subsidiarity Principle for Improving Health Outcomes. Uh, there are different types of patient-centric uh, uh, data that is being collected. It could be demographic data. It could be data through health surveys, uh, routine data that is uh, collected uh, at the primary health centers and anganwadi centers and sub-centers routinely, uh, or uh, epidemiological data, or data to assess the disease burden of the population. There has been uh, an increase in such uh, data uh, collection uh, post-COVID. There is extreme centralization of routine health data systems uh, that stands in tension uh, with the need for local level patient-based uh, care. Uh, to engage with this kind of paradigm of too much data that is being collected and processed at different levels and too little use of uh, the data at different levels, of course, uh, this paper argues uh, that the subsidiarity principle um, uh, can provide some guidance on how data decentralization to develop data systems for care provision and continuum of care can be better materialized in practice. The theoretical focus that I have applied in this paper is called the subsidiarity principle. Um, what do I mean by that? It represents a social organization that believes that social and political issues should be addressed at the in immediate or at the local level that is consistent with their resolution. That means the functions that can be best performed at a local or a lo lower level should be assigned to that level and where they cannot, the state government could step in. So the general objective of the principle of subsidiarity is to guarantee the degree of independence autonomy uh, to the lower uh, level vis-a-vis um, -vis a higher authority or the central government to give basically to give more powers to the local governments. The research questions uh, are uh, two research questions here. Uh, why is it necessary and important to develop a decentralized and localized uh, information systems and second is how to achieve and sustain appropriate degrees of decentralization and localization so that patients or the beneficiaries at the local care level can benefit from all this data that is being collected. So uh, the um, uh, methods, uh, this is a research in progress paper. I still have uh, some more work to do. Uh, this is a, a qualitative research where I have um, uh, conducted in-depth interviews with Anganwadi workers, technology leads, trainers who have trained um, uh, the Anganwadi workers in the use of uh, the technology and also uh, many observations at um, the Anganwadi centers to understand uh, the processes, the work practices and uh, data generation and data flow. The case study uh, is uh, that of uh, uh, Potion Tracker. Potion Tracker is a mobile based application uh, developed by WCD department. Uh, it's uh, uh, at the uh, center, central government, and is used by Anganwadis as a job aid tool. It is um, uh, to track the attendance of uh, uh, children who come to these Anganwadi centers and as well as um, growth monitoring of stunting, wasting, and underweight prevalent among children and also to track uh, nutrition service and midday meal scheme at the last mile at the Anganwadi center. So oh, I'll uh, uh, summarize uh, the results. Uh, the, uh, the research uh, was conducted in Bangalore. I uh, visited uh, 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 Anganwadi centers and I have spoken to about six uh, Anganwadi workers in uh, Bangalore and uh, Sneha app uh, uh, was uh, uh, a precursor to uh, this potion tracker which was uh, developed uh, in uh, Bangalore and uh, I started looking at potion uh, stories Neha app and then moved on to um, um, analyzing 
portion tracker but in this paper i'll be focusing only on uh, portion tracker a portion tracker is a top down technology ai based app that was pushed by the central government to the state governments although the state governments had their own um, apps and technologies uh, there was instruction to uh, stop these already existing systems and to adopt portion tracker data indicators in the portion tracker are mainly supply side and processes and not human development indicators or outcomes for example um, um, the indicator could be uh, how many beneficiaries have received take home ration in the last 21 days the total number of vaccinations administered per month at the block level district level state level and attendance hot hot cook meal number of uh, children given uh, hot cook meal etc and it is not uh, the indicators are not demand side or development indicators and and the data is not necessarily for uh, care management of malnourished children and uh, uh, data that could be uh, used in the continuum of care of these uh, malnourished uh, children so for example uh, it does not have uh, data about referral of one sam child from one anganwadi center uh, to the next level for example if the uh, child is referred to a nutritional rehabilitation center called the nrcs so it does not uh, give um, the anganwadi the uh, tool to track the sam child um, but rather it is uh, the tool is more for administration and supervision of her work by her uh, higher authorities so in uh, uh, conclusion i would uh, uh, like to uh, say that uh, there is increasing centralization of health data or uh, for bureaucratic purposes it could be for monitoring evaluation uh, management and surveillance uh, there is a there is a tremendous potential for using this um, uh, app uh, app based systems Uh, because of their reach anganwadis are uh, uh, work in remote villages in rural parts of india there yeah, there is a potential to use these new forms of technology uh, technologies for decentralization but uh, this is not happening on the ground it is more for um, uh, supervision monitoring and ma management of these anganwadi centers and not or uh, for um, uh, continuum of care of these um, uh, malnourished uh, children uh, there is a need I, i would like to argue that there is a need to ad adopt the principle of subsidiarity involving citizens and village functionaries at the gram panchayat level in the decision uh, making uh, design uh, budgeting and uh, most importantly the Uh, implementation of the development agendas and use of uh, such technology uh, based uh, initiatives um, the paper advocates um, i would i would be happy to share the, the paper if and i would be happy to discuss this in more detail um, uh, the paper advocates data for care and argues that the most important is the beneficiary it's the malnourished child that needs to be the focus so uh, beneficiary or the patient should be at the center of uh, all uh, the new ict uh, initiative